Hey everybody, Nadine here for another video. This is the second part in the series about accents with vowels. The first video, if you haven't seen it, is right here and it tells us how to pronounce vowels in Spanish. This second video about vowels is going to talk about vowels that have accents. Now, there are the five vowels a, e, i, o, u. Notice that they have a really short sound. Now, if they have an accent on it, the sound is longer. Now, for words in Spanish that don't have accents on their vowels, we tend to put the emphasis on the penultimate syllable. For example, a receipt, the word is recibo. Recibo, we put it on the penultimate or the second to last, and we say recibo. That's one example. But this really only applies to words ending with vowels, ending with the letter N, or with the letter S. I know these are rules. Don't sweat the rules. As you practice Spanish and you keep watching videos and you listen to Spanish speakers, it will come. It's a process. Now for all other words that don't end with a, a vowel or an N or an S, the emphasis is on the last syllable. For example, all verbs in the infinitive form, for example, the verb to stop means is parar. The emphasis is on the last syllable, parar. So we say parar as the emphasis at the end. So that's basically it for the rules. You really need to know emphasis on the second, emphasis on the second to last syllable if words end with a vowel, an N or an S, and emphasis on the last syllable of a word for all the other endings. But here come the accents. The accents are the exceptions. So accents are really, really helpful because they tell us on which syllable we're to put the stress or the emphasis. Let's go into the examples. We're going to look at examples of words that have an accent on each vowel. Let's begin. Let's start with the letter A. A with an accent. Here is some vocabulary. A as in árbol. Árbol. Árbol means tree. The accent is on the A and so we emphasize that syllable and we say árbol. Árbol. What about the word Saturday? Do you know how to say Saturday in Spanish? We say sábado. Sábado. Now, even though the word ends with an O, because it has that accent on the A, it tells us that that's the syllable we're going to emphasize. So we say, sábado. What about this word? How do you say it? Rápido. Rápido. The A with the accent tells us that, that that's the syllable that you are going to emphasize. Now, if you don't know how to roll your R, it's no big deal. You can say, rápido. The important thing is to be able to understand what's being said and to be understood when you're speaking. Since we're here in Mexico, let's practice pronouncing a couple places that have the accent with the A. I'm here in the state of, how do you say it? Yucatan. Yucatan. The emphasis is on the last syllable because that's where the A is. Yucatan. Another beautiful place in Mexico, Mazatlan. Mazatlan. Let's move on to the accent over the E. Here's a word with the accent over the E. How would we pronounce this word? Café. Café. Café is coffee. Another word. This word means Wednesday. It's a longer word, so take your time to break it down. Miércoles. Miércoles. One more time. Miércoles. What about the language we're speaking now? Inglés. 
Inglés. The emphasis is on the last syllable because that's where the E is. Inglés. And a little longer. Teléfono. Teléfono. Telephone. And what about the beautiful city that I'm located in? Mérida. We're in Mérida. So we won't put the emphasis on the I or even the A, only the E because that's where the accent is in the word Mérida. Mérida. And another state in Mexico is Querétaro. Querétaro. So the emphasis is on the second one. Querétaro. Querétaro. Let's keep practicing. Now moving on to the letter I with an accent. So the syllable that has the I with the accent is going to be emphasized. Let's look at some examples. The word for yes is a one syllable word, but it's emphasized. C. Si. C. Si. If you see this word without an accent, it's another word. It means if. So when we're answering C, you don't have to make it too long. You can say C. Si. Here's another word you've encountered in our videos before. Dia. Dia. As in, buen dia. Buenos dias. The emphasis is on the I. Dia. If something is really cold, we say it's frío. Frío. And the word meaning here, aquí. Aquí. Estoy aquí en México. Estoy aquí en Mérida. Estoy aquí en el Parque Las Américas. Aquí is the emphasis. By the way, if you're interested in the location of many of the places that I feature here, if you look down in the description section, I have the, the Google Maps location. So just click on it and you can find the location. And here is a state in Mexico with an accent on the I. It's called, it has three words, San Luis Potosí. San Luis Potosí. The emphasis is at the end, Potosí. Now let's move on to the letter O with an accent. Words with the letter O. For example, the word where is donde. So you don't put the emphasis anywhere else. You say donde. Here's another word for meaning only or alone. Solo. 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 And another questioning word, how? Como? 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 All of those have the accent on that O, and that's where we put the emphasis. What about a place or two in Mexico with an accent on the O? There's a beautiful city called Leon. Leon. The accent on the O tells us that we're not focusing on the E, we're focusing on the O. And another city is, do you know how to pronounce it? Torreón. Torreón. Let's move on to the final vowel with the accent on, with the accent, <laughs> with the accent on the U. Let's practice some words with the accent on the U. First one is útil. Útil. It means useful. What about another word? Música. Música. The emphasis is on the U. It's on the first syllable, so we say música. Let's say you go to a, a restaurant and you ask for a menú. Menú. It looks very much like the one in English, but we don't say, remember we don't have a U sound in Spanish. It is U, but we emphasize it for menú. That's masculine, el menú. And here's another word that has the emphasis, the accent on the U. It's the word for sugar, azúcar. 
azúcar. So let's wrap this up with two places in Mexico that have the accent on the U. Cancun. Yes, that's the pronunciation of the city. Cancun, with the emphasis on the U. And a beautiful one here in the Yucatan is called, it's a town, Celestun. Celestun. Why Celestun? Because the emphasis is on the last syllable with the U because of the accent. As you can see, the accents are so super duper helpful. So when you see an accent on a word, a Spanish word, just remember it's there to help us to figure out how to pronounce the words. And that's very, 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 very helpful for us. That's it for now. Take care. Bye bye.